Hey, this is Jerry with Bishop's Flowers. And since 4th of July is just around the corner, I decided to make you a video to show you some really great things that you could do for the upcoming 4th of July parties that you're going to be having. So today what we're going to focus on is how to make ivy placemats. Now it's really simple. All you need will be a nice, cheap, plastic placemat. Now any type of placemat will do, but I like just like the plastic one because they're nice and sturdy. You'll also need, obviously, some ivy leaves and you will also need some glue. Now this is Super 77 3M glue. Don't go and buy the cheap stuff. I promise you, you don't want to do this. This right here is a lot cheaper than this, but this is no good. So toss that in the garbage, never buy that stuff. This right here is what you want, 3M Super 77. So let me go and show you exactly how we're going to do this. Very simple and very easy to do, but you're going to see how all of your guests are going to be raving about how beautiful your presentation is on your table on the 4th of July holiday. So hang on, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is take your ivy leaves and go ahead and cut all the stems off of them. And then you're going to want to dry any moisture that may be on the front and the back of the ivy leaves so that the glue will stick really well. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is take all of your ivy leaves, or several of them, turn them upside down on a piece of newspaper, and we're getting ready to start spraying them with this glue. So you want to spread them out so you've got plenty of room to get to them. Hold your can far back so that you're not spraying leaves everywhere, and give it a good coating of the glue. Now be prepared that you're going to get glue everywhere from overspray, so make sure you do this in a place that it's okay to do that. Then the next thing you want to do, after they have had a couple seconds to get tacky, is you want to start placing them over the edge of the placemat. So just do it just like this right here. And then you overlap each leaf. Let's do it a better, bigger leaf so it goes off the edge there. So now you have the beginning of your placement. You notice how it comes, notice how it comes over the edge here and over the edge here, and it's covering this edge. Now we do have residue on the back of these leaves here. We'll get to that in a few minutes when we finish this and show you how to take care of that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to start and we're going to cover everything all the way across. And we just keep overlapping our leaves. Now you do want to press them down really good as you go now. So let's say you get to the edge here and you have just a little bit of space. All you do is just take a smaller leaf and pull right to the edge like that. Now what I do is each time after I do a spray, I get another piece of paper and I lay on top of that piece of paper because you don't want to be laying your leaves upside down on overspray already, otherwise it will get spray on the front part of your leaf. So then take another section of leaves, turn them upside down again, and rinse and repeat that process. Now obviously I did cheat a little bit because I happen to be lucky enough to have some really big ivy leaves in my yard. Sometimes you're going to have smaller leaves, so it's going to take more work, and that's okay. But for demonstration purposes, I thought this would be just fine, and you will get the same look. You can see how this is going now very quickly and just go ahead and go back and what I usually like to do is take a cloth and just rub across it. Be careful not to tear the leaves but this presses the leaf down really good onto the placemat so it will have a good contact with the placemat. Because obviously you can do probably 15 or 20 because the glue lasts quite a long time before it's too late to put it down. You can see though I am putting a good coating of glue on there. And I'm wearing the glue as I can feel it on my arms right now. But you always start on the same side and work in the same direction. So I'm all I'm starting from bottom going to the top. Those are 
dry already, so we don't use them. And once again, we press them down with a cloth. Now we're basically finished, we're at the edge, but you notice the difference is, is that the edge here doesn't lock the edge here. So here's what you want to do. Either halfway, you can start going in the other direction. So what I could have done was I could have come halfway with the leaves all pointing to my left, and then started on this end with all my leaves pointing to the right, and met in the middle. Probably what I should have done, but you still get the point. So I'm going to show you how to fix this now. Now we're going to just turn it around, and we're going to go backwards for the very last one right on top of those other leaves, letting the edges overlap off of the end of the placemat. And only you and I will know that I didn't reverse those leaves now. Don't tell anyone. Once again, take your cloth, rub all of that down. And now you have a completed placemat. You can see how all the different leaves, and you really want to get the edges down on those. Now let's say that you want to get a little creative and have a few other different types of leaves on here. Let me show you how to do that. You can get some smaller, darker ivy leaves that you could put in place here, or you could get some all different types of leaves that you can use. Now what I did was I have akuba leaves, so I've taken some akuba leaves, and I've turned them upside down. Now, actually, I got these Akuba leaves at the Hardy's drive through I just kind of reached out and snipped off a piece of it just for this demonstration. So don't tell anyone that I did that. But I thought I would at least give them some free publicity since I did basically steal part of their plant. And then you can come right in the center. One more leaf. Let it dry a little bit. And then really make sure that you do a good job of pressing this down because this is going to be sticking up in the center where your plate will be sitting if you don't do a good job of pressing this down with your cloth. And then we have this for your centerpiece. This right here now will see, be something that you can set your plates on for 4th of July. You can set centerpieces on them. And in future videos, I'll give you some more ideas of what you can do with ivy leaves. So this is Jerry Williams and Bishop's Flowers, and I hope you have a great 4th of July.